Ten-year Treasury note futures open this session fairly mixed as traders uh, digest a lot of weekend news, including China. With regards to COVID and the crisis there, it seems to be deepening. Also from Fed President Williams, who cited that uh, we could see reduction of the balance sheet as soon as the May meeting. Also, San Francisco President Daly, who said this, she said the uh, case for a 50 basis point rate hike is definitely strengthening. Also, news flow with regards to the EU, who are working on additional sanctions uh, with regards to Russia. Get into the bulk of our session. It continued to be a slow grind with yields pressing ever so slightly higher. We did have U.S. factory orders today um, down a half a, a percentage point, basically in line. Durable goods fell less than expected, and durable orders, ex transportation, uh, just as expected. Also, we heard news flow about Russia and gas lines in Europe, at least the main uh, gas lines continue to flow into Europe, adding some stability, stability to the uh, energy markets, thus uh, potentially helping treasuries. Uh, and bottom line is in the afternoon, uh, traders continue to anticipate Wednesday afternoon's FOMC meeting. Now, looking at options, I look at CME Group Seaball, looking at June, one month basis uh, options trading about the 45th percentile, three month basis the 60th percentile. At the money vols right now are basically flat, although skew is down ever so slightly as the down variance or put wing is actually higher and the up variance is unchanged. Option volume fairly steady around the 122 strike. On the call side, 123 and 123 half calls seem to have a lot of volume. The put side, the 120 put, followed by the 121 put. Lastly, I look at um, E-Micro Mini Treasury yield-based futures. That volume there continues to be strong. Friday, we saw a volume of 8,028 with an open interest of 1,459.